Here's a quick tutorial on how to create a button that looks something like the one on the screen here. Uh, it's all done, the trick is it's all done in PowerPoint, uh, PowerPoint 2010. So what I did is I found another button that I wanted to use as a, as a, uh, a starting point. Um, cut and paste that, uh, that button, put it onto a PowerPoint slide and then once you've done that you can use that as a in the background just to, to try and copy the various elements so the first thing to do is to create a text box so we insert a text box no matter where it is for the moment and we'll have the text register um, change the the font and the font size uh, for now I'll choose Arial but you'll you might want to choose something that's fairly similar to the one that you're trying to copy and let's change the size so it's uh, it more closely matches uh, it wants to be in, in white um, let's just for the moment put it in, in grey I'll change it to white in a bit um, and uh, let's uh, just increase the font side a little bit more okay that will we'll do we'll go with that for now okay then what we do is we want to select the te our text box uh, click on format uh, at the top and we can first thing we want to do is give it a shading so if we uh, do the shape fill um, I've got the AVN color already preset so we can select the uh, the color scheme for it we can then change and edit the shape so if we go to edit shape we can change it here to more of a loss in shape and using the little yellow diamond here we can change by dragging it along here we can change how much it curves so that sorts the curving out. Uh, then we want to make it the right sort of size. So let's now, what we'll do now is we'll overlay it over the top. So it wants to be that sort of size. And what we can then do is if we right click and click on size and position, we can then select over here the text box itself. And if we increase, uh, we want to increase the margins. First of all, we want to increase the top margin a little bit. Let's do it to 0 0.4 and let's see how that looks. Um, that's starting to now make it the same sort of size as the one underneath. That's probably good enough. Um, let's just pull it in a little bit. Uh, okay. Um, then what we want to do is also indent the, if I just pull this down a little bit using the arrow keys, pull it down um, to get the register bit lined up we want to indent it so if we again go back to size and format and on the for the text box if we also increase the left margin you can see that will shunt the text along nicely and so that's got the text in the right position uh, I probably want it to be all in capitals so let me just change that to register and that's probably slightly too big now so let's just reduce that font size to 66 that'll do okay having now done that we've got the right size for it uh, what we now want to do is sort out the uh, the circle and the arrow so all we do for that is let's move this completely out of the way for the moment what we do is we go to start a new shape we're going to insert and from shapes we're going to select a circle up here and we just drag the circle over the top of of here so it's roughly the same sort of shape and size. We can center it, line it all up. Uh, it's almost about there. Uh, not, not quite perfect, but it's close enough. And that'll do. If we then right click and select format the shape, we can give it no fill, make it a, a, a plain white one. So we can now uh, drag that shape onto here so I, I put no fill I want it to be a solid fill I want it to be white okay so we now have our white circle uh, to do the triangle similar sort of thing we now go and we start let's close this down we now insert uh, a new shape and we'll insert a triangle and again we want to use this as a 
get the size about right. To get the right orientation, we just use this green bit here to swivel it round. That's about it. We can pull the corners in. Perhaps if you drag both that in, so it's roughly uh, pull this yellow one in just a little bit. It'll let me. This one, sorry. That's about the right shape. So um, what we'll then do is we will right click on there, format the shape and do the solid fill as AVN yellow. Okay, that's that done. So we can now m move that shape down to there. Okay, I'm about happy with that, I'll about do. And then the last bit to do, which is then the easy fun bit, is if we go back to, I oh, was change this to white before I forget. white text and then with this loss in shape coming back to here if we go on format what we can now do here and uh, what I'm going to do before I do that let me just move this out the way to the top get it right up there and then with this if we hold the control key down we can select all the various elements move them all up together okay but we're going to just select this one now and under the format we can uh, select text, eff text effects one of those can be the reflection if we want a reflection we can choose oops sorry it's, just, it's selected the, t the text not the box and let's start again uh, ah that's because I'm on text outline sorry shape outline um, and shape effects here we go uh, shadow uh, reflection sorry reflection um, click on there to get a half reflection touching there's different types of reflection but I think we want to, to, to mimic the one above we select that we also will want to select a, um, a bevel, so it's a fairly rounded one, so we could go with something like that perhaps. Um, and there's all sorts of 3D options, we can play around with that, uh, dif different um, settings here. And we can also change as well, if we go to the uh, shape fill, um, we could have a gradient fill perhaps so we can play around uh, and use uh, possibly something towards the bottom like that and you can now start to see that's looking a little bit more like the one above um, we can do the same thing with the the bit here and um, we can format the text shape fill give it perhaps a bit of a gradient fill there you go we'll go with that Okay, having then done that, once you're happy with it, um, and there's lots of other things we could do, we could put a little black outline around the, the words to make them stand out and so on. Um, we can then get rid of this one, delete it, because we don't do that anymore. So if we select any one of the, any one of the elements and then click hold control and A, that selects all of it, everything that you've created, all the bits. If we right click and select group and group them, that groups them into now just one image. So there's our image. And then we right click on that image again, select, uh, start again, start, right click on it. Um, and you should have save as picture, save it as a PNG file, um, call it uh, whatever you want. So uh, I'll call it new button just for now. Save that. And there's your, there should be somewhere, new button. That's it.